Let's throw up our hands if you're able. And let's say, God, we welcome you. We, we adore you, God. This, we're, we're thankful. You know, there's so many people that they, they, they try to hide the scars of life. They try to put sleeves over the scars that they went through because they're ashamed of what they went through. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying this morning, you don't have to be ashamed of the past that you went through. That's your testimony. That's the wonderful thing. My God, it may not be wonderful to some of you. And some of the things that you went through, it might not be wonderful, but the thing that God done for you through your past, that's what is wonderful about it. You see, you are not who you used to be. You are not living in your past any longer. You are not defined by your past. You are defined by who you are today, by who God created you to be now. You are a new creature in Christ. And the scars that you have reminds you of the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. Can anybody give a testimony this morning that Christ Jesus, he's a faithful friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's one that you can call home anytime, day or night. I'm going to remind him. Jack, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just want to... The man with the one leg is standing in reverence of God's glory. There's no reason for anybody to be standing in God's house. Come on. Thank you, brother. Come on. I love you. Come on. That's it. That's it, brother. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Anybody.
against the Lord's house and against the Lord's people because there's no fear of God anymore. People have lost the fear and the reverence of God. But I come to tell you there is still a people. There is still a remnant of God in the land that we must still, as said the Chronicles said, if my people
as he went by.
We are in the midst of a great outpour. We're in the midst of a great outpour. And the enemy is deceiving so many. And they are missing a blessing.
Yeah, but they could go there. They found refuge. And so the sanctuary, God's house, this is a place that God's people come to and they find refuge. And their safety and their strength. Why? Because we draw strength off of one another, but we draw strength off of God. Yes. And then the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? Yes. But when you walk out that door, know this. It is spiritual warfare. And it starts the minute you walk out the door. It tries to start before you leave. But that's why you got to take the sword and chop the head off. Right away. Don't let the enemy have any, any, any. Don't even give him an inch. Don't give him the least. You got to chop that head off right away. Get rid of it. Spiritual warfare. So we come in here, all of us, each one of us coming here with a different story. Brother Patrick, come here, brother. We come in here with different swords. We each have a past. We have different backgrounds. Some, we, we were alcoholics. Some were drug addicts. Some, we were we were just wild people. We like to fight. And, and, and Brother Chris, we, we like to go out and, and beat people up. You're a big old giant. I'd hate to see you coming to beat me up. Wouldn't you go? I'd hate to see a big old fist coming. But each one of us have a different story. We have a past. That the enemy was making war against us. And we didn't know, but we was getting beat down. And we was getting some licks on us. Each and every one of us. We was getting beat down and we was getting defeated. And somebody, we didn't even know it. Some of us didn't know it. Some of us did know it. There was people that was praying for us. Oh, I had folks that told me, I'm praying for you. And sometimes that would even make me mad. And I'd be like, don't pray for me. I'm okay. I thought I was strong. I thought I could handle it on my own. But now I look back and I say, thank God for the prayers. Thank God for those prayers and songs.
We didn't have discipleship class here. We went to preach a revival at Argo Church of God. And I know Argo is a good place away. Not that far, but it is a good place away. Brother Patrick lives there. He drives here every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. About every other day. But anyways, we went to Argo to preach a revival last Sunday night. And this church, my word, this church showed up. Let your glory be seen, your presence felt in 
Lift your voices. 